Hey guys, so today we're going to look at the difference between a pound force, a pound mass, and a slug. So first thing, pound force, as you probably guess, is a unit of force. Whereas a pound mass, as you probably guessed, is a unit of mass. A slug is also a unit of mass. Um, the difference between a pound mass and a slug, they're both imperial units. The difference between them is a factor of g or in the english system roughly 32.2 feet per second squared so you're probably thinking hey which one's bigger well one pound mass sorry uh, times 32.2 feet per second squared is equal to one pound force Whereas one slug times 30, ooh, no, not 32, times one foot per second squared equals one pound force. So you can see the advantage of using a slug is that to convert to units of force, it's just a factor of one. A lot easier to uh, avoid mistakes that way. But with a pound mass, um, you also take out that factor G. Uh, and you're probably thinking, if you're watching this video, you're probably using imperial units. Oh man, metric is so much easier. Well, in metric, they have something similar. They have a kilogram mass, and they also have kilogram force. Although I don't know how often it's used. But that does exist. Um, just a, a little visual thing to help you keep straight which one's a slug and which one's a pound mass. This is about one slug, roughly 32.2 pounds. Well, I hope it's been helpful. Uh, I know that even for some rocket scientists, this can be a confusing thing to keep, uh, keep straight, whether you're using pound masses or slugs. So, uh, yeah, try not to screw up any calculations.